What's up, everybody? Joel Norton here. Hope you're all doing wonderful. I mean, today I am going to do a mini review for Rise of the King, which is uh, book two of uh, the Legend of Drist. Oh, excuse me, not the Legend of Drist, the Companions Codex. And uh, the first one we did out of this trilogy was a three star, or excuse me, four star. Um, and I will guess I'll just jump in by reading the uh, thing and then kind of describing my my thoughts on it. Um, in the second book of the C Companions Codex, the latest series in the New York Times bestselling saga of the Dark Elf Driss Dorden, Ari Salvatore picks up with the fan favorite storyline of the Dwarf King Bruner Battlehammer and his bloody feud with the Orc Kingdom of Many Arrows. Um... So this almost this entire book is just battles on battles on battles. Um, there definitely is some repeated themes that we've seen before. Um, and I'm going to kind of dive into that here. And uh, basically, this follows the orc. Well, it's it's the invasion of the orc kingdom of many arrows as they uh, attack the dwarves and the uh, the people of the area. And uh, pretty much, like I said, it's just solid battle throughout. Um, kind of breaking it down a little bit. The drow, uh, pulling strings, have united the frost giants, the orcs, uh, the orc kingdom, brought in ogres and bugbears and goblins and all kinds of stuff. And uh, got them united, and they're marching south to uh, attack the uh, allied realms. And of course, they uh, they don't all stay. There's a bunch of arguing, kind of some politics in the beginning of like, oh, well, you should help us because they're all getting kind of hit at the same time, all these kingdoms and these fortresses. And it's kind of like a, uh, you should help us. And no, you should help us. No, and, you know, big disagreement, which felt very, uh, sadly, it felt real. You know what I mean? And, uh, and basically, it's just solid battle scenes throughout this entire book. And it was enjoyable, even with the recycle thing. Jar Axel is a phenomenal character in this. I, I love Jar, Jar Axel. He's probably one of my favorite characters in the uh, Legend of Wrist altogether. But he really carries these uh, three books, in my opinion. Maybe not the first one so much, but second and third one, definitely. Um. I really enjoyed this one and kind of show showcases some of the companions new powers that they've gotten um and uh it, if it for the most part it's on i think half the book if i remember remembering correctly here half the book is kind of them battling within a fortress and they're realizing which is besieged and they're realizing they're not going to last um so they're going to get help from the dwarves so the companions leave and that city actually falls and gets destroyed after they leave. And then they're kind of wandering the Underdark trying to find their way to the Dwarven Kingdom. They get split up in the process, but half of them make it there and the other half kind of just stumble around the dark. And like I said, this is this is a <clears throat> really, it was for me enjoyable. I actually like this one better than the first one. Um, I'm, But I'm still gonna go with that four out of five stars I'm thinking. And uh, as always, his rating or his uh, writing just wonderfully descript with when it comes to battles. So this is, it was great. The thing that kind of irritated me was a little bit like deja vu in being like, we've seen this before. The, the orcs attacking the ki kingdoms, it kind of backtracked on the whole, uh, the I guess the, the whole orcs being they can be a civil race and it was rather racist to think of them as just like animals which they had figured this out and now it kind of backtracked but at the same time it also felt really realistic to me because it was a coup and the orc king i can't remember his name off the top man was overthrown basically and then with a much more aggressive group of orcs and that felt rather realistic to me. So I, I did enjoy that, but I was, was a little sad to see it kind of backtrack. But I guess, you know, it, it, it did feel realistic. Um, and 
it's just the giants and the orcs and they're kind of working together as, as they come down and that it felt like uh can't remember the series name but it is legitly felt very recycled the characters in my opinion are what carried this thing through uh for that four star and uh yeah it was still really good enjoyable i'm really excited to read well the trilogy after this very excited to get done with these and move on to those and uh yeah i really haven't maybe there was one ra salvatore book that i didn't really enjoy maybe one out of the whole series which is just crazy because i'm really picky when it comes to fantasy stuff so that that's that's awesome i i love that um but yeah guys so i'm gonna go out of four out of five stars for rise of the king uh companions codex number two by ra salvatore and this is my mini review and if you enjoyed it do me a favor hit like and subscribe drop in the comments if you want to see more uh, reviews like this and uh until next time guys joel norton peace